After updating your device to iOS 14.5, it's now possible to report an accident, hazard, or speed check within Apple Maps. If I start a new route, Starting route to 875 East Plaza Drive, head northwest on West Prairie Road, and then tap or swipe up on the arrival information below, we have a new report button. Within it, we can single tap to report an accident, hazard, or speed check. I'll tap the hazard option and it gets sent in. This is a crowdsourced feature, so a certain number of similar reports will need to be submitted for the Maps app to recognize the issue on the map or begin rerouting users. We can also quickly report an issue with Siri. Report an accident. Now if I end that route, and head out to my home screen, I can report an incident while I'm not actively using the Maps app. So if you're just on your way to work, you'll be able to report an issue that might help other drivers later on. Report a hazard. To provide an incident report with more details, go to the Info button and then Report an Issue. In here, we can again report an accident, hazard, or speed check. Tap on the map to set the exact location for the issue. We're also able to enter details with up to a thousand characters and even submit photos. It looks like these photos will just be used by Apple to, as they say, diagnose the issue. I don't believe the photos will be viewable by other users. Tap Submit to send the report into Apple. Notice that when submitting a detailed report like this, the hazard icon is actually visible now on my map. Tap and I can update that it's either been cleared or it remains. This hazard icon is only going to appear on my map until a sufficient amount of other users have also reported it. This feature is currently only available in the United States and mainland China. And remember, you need to have updated to iOS 14.5 or later to see the report an incident option.